Welcome to DriveWise Cars. My name is Stephen and this is our beautiful 2014 Mini Countryman Cooper S all four automatic. Finished in absolute black metallic with a white roof. The mileage on this one is just 25,367. In total it's had two owners from new and it comes with a benefit and reassurance of a fully documented service history. The specification of this one includes a John Cooper Works sports pack, 18 inch black twin spoke alloy wheels, black lounge leather interior trim with red piping, it has a three spoke leather John Cooper Works multifunction steering wheel, heated front seats, chrome line interior trim pack and storage compartment pack. So without further ado, let's have a closer look shall we? So we'll start off at the front. And for those of you not too au fait with the John Cooper Works Sports Pack, if I can draw your attention to the front spoiler underneath the number plate, the John Cooper Works Sports Pack includes an aerodynamics kit, which the front spoiler is part of that. Now as we come down the near side now, or passenger side, I'll just take a little moment to pause, adjust the focus, or a picture, so we can see more of it. There we go. That's better. We'll take a, a brief moment to appreciate those immaculate alloy wheels. As we come along the side now, we can see on the front passenger door we've got an all four badge. But if you look underneath the front doors, you can also see there's an enhanced side skirt, which again is part of the John Cooper Works Sports Pack. And again, another one of those beautiful alloy wheels. And as we come round to the rear of the car, we can see we've also got rear parking sensors, particularly useful. There's four in total. That's one of them just there. So there's no excuses for reversing into anybody or anything. Now, as we come to the offside or driver's side, again, I'll just take a moment to pause. And again... We'll have another look at one of the alloy wheels. There we go. As we slowly make our way back to where we started from. And again, another one of those pristine alloy wheels. So, as we end up where we started from, that's the outside. Let's have a look on the inside. Now it's just jogged my memory coming to the driver's door that I forgot one of the other options on this, which is electric folding door mirrors. So if I press this little button here, you can hear the mirrors folding in. Press again and they fold out. Now on the armrest, we've also got a bank of switches here, which are for the front and rear electric windows. But just look at that gorgeous leather upholstery absolutely pristine and unmarked and doesn't that red piping make it look even prettier now the driver's seat is height adjustable utilizing that lever and i mentioned there's a sumptuous leather three spoke john cooper works multifunction steering wheel that we can see there i'll park myself inside then we can have a closer look so on the left hand side of the steering wheel here we've got buttons to adjust the volume and the station that we're listening to. Once you've paid your telephone up to the Bluetooth system and you receive an incoming call, just press the little telephone button and then you can chat away merrily. Sitting just above there, we've got flappy paddles. So that will allow you to change gear if you want to manually. Then coming over to the right hand side, we've got cruise control and another flappy paddle. And looking just above the steering wheel, We've got the rev counter with a digital speedometer, which is particularly useful because you don't need to take your eyes off the road just to check what speed you're doing. And there to confirm the mileage, 25,000, <coughs> excuse me, 367. Now, if we look at the circumference of the rev counter, we can see the bezel is all nice and shiny and bright. Well, that's part of the chrome line interior trim pack. And that thing continues on the air vents and as we come over to the center now along the traditional mini speedometer now i'll just start the engine up so i can show you everything lit up as it should be there we go 
go, that's better. So here we've got the radio. Find a better station than that. Here we go. I will attempt to. Whilst it's thinking about that, underneath that we've got a CD player. There's also heating and ventilation. With on the left hand side we've got the fan speed. On the right hand side we've got temperature. And we've got directional buttons here which allow us to direct the air either to the vents, to the screen, or the floor, or if you prefer, you can have them on all three. Underneath that, on the far left hand side, we've got heated passenger seat with three different settings. Far right hand side, we've got the heated driver's seat, again with three different heat settings. Front and rear fog lamps, a sport button, and a master switch there if you want to lock yourself in. There's twin cup holders of course, and then coming back, We've got a USB and an auxiliary port and here we've got the automatic gear stick and just for peace of mind with the automatic it won't move as you can see unless you put your foot on the brake and you press that little chrome button in there and then you can select whichever gear you want to be in. So I'll just switch the engine off. So that's the view from the driver's seat. Let's have a look behind the driver now shall we? And again I'll check out the door card first of all. There we go, absolutely gorgeous. But look at those rear seats. They are completely and utterly unmarked. Beautiful. And as we come round to the rear, to gain access to the boot on the Countryman, all we need to do, press that mini badge and lift. And there we go. We've got access to a cavernous load space area. And if we look at the rear seats, the two outer seats, will fold independently of each other, so will the central panel, so you can either fold them all down, two of them down, or one at a time. And what that does is increase your storage capability and capacity. Now this one also has the flat load boot floor system. So if I just pad that, you can see that's a nice solid panel. It folds in half and gives you greater depth. It will come out altogether, which again, increases your storage capability and capacity. So we'll come back now down the passenger side or near side. We'll pop the rear door open so we can examine that. Absolutely fantastic. As are the rear seats from this side. And last but not least, we'll check out the front passenger door. Again, completely unmarked, as is the front passenger seat as well. And just like the driver's seat, that too is height adjustable utilising that lever. So, to summarise, well, here we've got a 2014 Mini Countryman Cooper S all four automatic, finished in absolute black metallic, with just 25,367 miles. It's had two owners from you, comes with a fully documented service history, a John Cooper Works sports pack, lounge leather interior trim with red piping, heated front seats, Chrome line interior trim pack, 18 inch twin spoke alloy wheels and storage compartment pack. Once I finish the video, our team will come in and they'll COVID secure the interior so it's all safely ready for you to come and inspect. If you're looking at the video and you think, oh, that looks really nice, Stephen. Well, give me a ring, have a chat to me. If you have a part exchange, let me know what you've got and I'll do my best to value it for you. In the meantime, I do hope you've enjoyed the video and I look forward to speaking to you very soon.